TJ from Princess Craft. And there's some great new 2019 tag trailers out. But before we show those to you, we wanted to show you all of the different additions that have happened to a tag along the way. So first, to my right and to my left, you're looking at the original tag. It had the gray or the white base. You had choices in the colors of the graphics. And then it had a matching fender here. And on the front, the tub sitting on the expanded metal base would match whichever color graphics that you had. These are great trailers. They came in two different forms. You could get a basic or you could get a max. So the max package had the TV, the air conditioner, the front window, and a spare tire. Most of the trailers out there are going to be the tag with the max package. They were called the tag max. Then we had some requests to get a wider one, so New Camp made a tag and a tag XL. Well, the tag is five foot wide and the tag XL is six foot wide. So you got very close to a king size bed on the inside. Again, they were both made the same. You could either get it in a basic or in a max. So a few years ago, a customer of ours, and some of you may know her, Mandy Lee Photography. Uh, you can look her up online, see some great photos. She actually upgraded her tag and we put off-road tires on it and an aluminum fender. That was really exciting. We had a lot of fun. And after a while, New Camp made an Outback version. So this is the Outback version of the tag, which was available in the regular tag or the Tag XL. It had great graphics on it. it says Outback Edition right here in the back. The roof rack was optional. And the front has an aluminum base for extra cargo and the diamond plate front. Now in 2018, the Outback name changed and it's now called the Boondock. So let's see what that Boondock version looks like in 2019. Now this is the 2019 Boondock Edge. It is the fully loaded version of the off-road tag. Again, it is available in the regular tag or the XL. And let's talk about the new features. This has the diamond plate fender, as opposed to the smooth aluminum, gives it a real rugged look. You've got the 15 inch off-road tires, uh, a newer updated wheel. Up on the top, roof, Yakima roof racks. You've got an awning that actually can pull out, give you shade on the front, and two spotlights, one on each side. They've also added a step on the bottom. You have the same aluminum front and they have added cargo pouches on the doors and electric brakes. So this is a great off-road vehicle. Check out this boondock handle. Now remember I told you this is the fully loaded boondock. It's called the boondock edge. There is also a boondock light. So for those of you who wanted to step it down a bit, you still get all of these features except the roof rack, the lights, the awning, and the pouches, and the step. So you still get a nice off-road vehicle. They just took away some of the things that some people may not want to add. So again, the boondock light looks just like this. It's going to have a different graphic, of course, but it's not going to have the rack, the awning, the lights, the pouch, or the step. If you have any questions about what you'd like on your tag or what's available, just give us a call here at Princess Craft. We'll be glad to walk you through it, show you what's out there, and talk to you about the differences. I hope this is helpful for you if you're looking for the right tag that meets your needs. Mm -hmm.